Hey guys, it's Arx here and welcome back to my channel. So we are back with another JRS75 Soundtest and I have uploaded a video doing doing a different from configuration soundtest and in today's video I'll be doing another soundtest configuration with its different triple adjustment of plate hardness with their gasket implementation. So first we have here the hardest in which you're gonna put all the three gaskets. And then second one is the middle, where you're only going to put the gasket on the middle part. And lastly, the softest configuration, which you're going to put two gaskets on left and the right side. So after each sound test, I'll be providing my thoughts and opinion on it. Kindly check the timestamp as well as I value your time. Now my build on the JRS75, it's using an alu plate with a plate foam and case foam only. It has no PE foam and not tape modded. The switches on the board are the tungsten switches lubed with a 205 grade zero and the keycaps that was used was a GMK set. So with all of that out of the way, please do enjoy the sound test on the JRS75. Now that was the sound test using the hardest configuration on the JRS75 and this is the stiffest configuration that you can go with the board but don't worry you can still feel a bit of a bounce to it when you're typing even on a longer period of time. It still has the flex to it and I can say that it still has that soft bottom out. Sound wise it sounds pretty solid considering the flex cuts on the PCB and plate but it still has the thin sound to it and I would have preferred if this has a bit more if this board is a bit more loud and pronounced. Now that was the sound test on the middle configuration for the JRS75 and it's not that stiff compared to the hardest configuration. You can feel the bounce and a bit of vibration but not to the point that you'll get bothered from it. Of course it still has that soft bottom out but other than that, that's all that I noticed versus the hardest configuration. Now sound wise, to be honest, you can't really tell a difference on the sound test that I had but on real life, it sounded a bit more thinner than the hardest but not really too much. Flex wise, I can say of course it's a bit flexier than the hardest configuration but nothing to a night and day difference.
Now, lastly, the surface configuration. Now, on this configuration, you can somehow feel some vibrations from the bounce and a bit more noticeable than the middle gasket configuration. But again, it's not that aggressive and you would only notice it if you are typing a bit hard. I know some people prefer this kind of a typing feel. Now, in terms of the sound, same as the middle configuration, I like how the spacebar sounds on it, but again, on the alphas, it's a bit too thin or a bit muted for my liking. Now, flex-wise, I can say that, of course, it's a bit more flexier to the hardest configuration, but not too much of a difference on the middle configuration. Overall, I really like this implementation that they had on their gaskets, and I know this is a bit similar to the Tadpole Mounting by Works. so you can really choose how flexy and bouncy your board will go and would really depend on your preference. Honestly, all configurations have a good flex and bounce, so you can really try to experiment all the configurations to your liking. Personally, sound-wise, there's really not much of a day and night difference, but it's more on the feel of the board. So for me, I really like the hardest configuration as it's stiff, but you can still feel a bit of the bounce. But again, it will still boil down to your preference at the end of the day. Now, that's about it for the video, guys. Don't worry, I'll be doing a full review on the JRS 75, so stay tuned for that. And let me know what configuration did you like the most. I don't really want to spoil much on this video as this is only about its gasket configurations. So don't forget to like the video, subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys on the full review. Peace.